Hi, I'm Chef Sherry and I am here with you today to make a cauliflower crust pizza. This is something that I've wanted to try for a while. I've made regular, um, like the crust pizzas out on the outside gas griddle. I have not made a pizza on the electric inside griddle and um, this is just going to be a little bit different. I'm doing the cauliflower crust versus a um, regular dough crust, pizza dough crust, or like even a pre-made crust, like a non-bread crust. And so this is new for me. So we'll see how it turns out. It might not turn out at all. I may not like it. I honestly have never tried a cauliflower crust pizza. I have really wanted to... Um, you know, try, uh, I have, I, I have wanted to try a uh, cauliflower crust pizza. I wanted to actually make my own, but I just have never done it. I, it seems like there's quite of a process to it and I just have not done it. So I went and bought this rustic crust, cauliflower crust pre-done, um, at the store the other day and I'm like I just want to try it on this uh, the gas or the electric griddle to see how it, it it's gonna be but when I've done it before out on the gas griddle I've used a stone which I've had really good luck I've used the pizza stone put it on the the griddle itself and let the stone warm up and then cook it on there but when I went, that was my idea, my concept when I started this. But when I went to go put this on my 17 inch, it's too big. It doesn't fit. So I had another one and I tried and that one was too big also, my other stone. So my stone, my stone, pizza stone option is out. So the next thing we're just going to take in, I have it kind of low I'm, and maybe I should do it lower but I'm starting at 350 my temperature and I'm going to make it on the board in here and then I'm going to slide it and put it on the griddle and then I'm going to use the dome lid. So I do have the cover for this but I found and Dan has pointed out to me he's watched me several times and when I've struggled with trying to use a lid that sometimes the lid doesn't work for cooking things that you want it to do. And so I'm going to use the dome lid. This fits probably just like about. It may be squeaking a little bit of the dough or a little bit of the crust out, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a try. So if you're watching me, if you have any comments, anything you wanna put in, if you wanna tell me where you're from, I'd love to hear where you're from. If you're watching this at, at a later point afterwards, let me know where you're from. I wanna hear where you guys are watching me from and um, you know, give me, let's, let's hear, hear, do you like cauliflower crust pizza? I, you know, I don't even know if I like cauliflower crust pizza. I'm, I like regular pizza. I love, love, love regular pizza. I actually have the Blackstone pizza oven. Love it to death. We cook on it. In the summertime, it's Michigan, it's cold outside, it's actually warming up, so it's not too bad, but it's still too cold for me. Um, I'm staying inside kind of a girl for right now, and uh, yeah, so we're cooking inside. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you what I have, show you the ingredients. We're using the cauliflower crust, the pre-done that I'm getting here, and I was looking and I kind of thought, you know, maybe cauliflower crust, it would be gluten-free, you know, a little bit healthier for you. And it is a little bit healthier, but it, there's not much of a difference. Just just slightly less calories, I believe, because I was comparing the different ones in the store. And, um, you know, it there wasn't too much of a difference. I was really disappointed. I kind of thought, you know, that the cauliflower crust would be a lot better for you um but yeah uh, you know that that was just my observation so i'm not a nutritionist i don't you know you know i try to do my best on that but um you know i i don't get too much into that 
So we're going to be using the cauliflower crust. I'm using shredded mozzarella cheese. You can shred your own, you know, if you decide you want to do that. I know a lot of people, my best friends do that. Um, more power to them. I'm, I'm easy, just pull out of the refrigerator and just go. And I did, I roasted up some vegetables. So I have some peppers, different color peppers here. And if you like raw, raw vegetables, you can do add them on there. I don't like them. I like my vegetables cooked and I have some fresh mushrooms that I just cooked up, saute just a little bit that I'm gonna add. You can use canned mushrooms if you want. Um, any type of vegetable, you know, you want onions on there, you want spinach, you can use that. I'm just using just a uh, spaghetti sauce this is our as you see we're we're partial to this brand um we've we found a lot of products that we like with this brand so this is the pizza sauce that i'm using and then i'm going to add you know if you want a vegetarian style just add just vegetables just keep it like that i'm adding just a little bit of pepperoni to it we like pepperoni we usually like when we eat pizza we do either a deluxe pizza or we do ham pepperoni mushroom pizza um you know so i'm just kind of doing a little bit of mixture of both and i'm actually going to make it on the board here and then i'm going to take and slide it onto the hot griddle and then we're going to cover it and let it cook and we're going to see how it does and then i'm going to give you a few more tips if we need it so let's just get started with getting this put together I was trying to figure out how to open this, but it didn't really have like a good opening. So I think I'm just going to cut it and rip it here. Try not to break the crust. It's one thing you want to make sure don't, don't break it. So let's, let's smell it. it doesn't smell bad. It, uh, you know, has got, it's got a, must be a little um, oxygen absorber packet in it. So, my first experience, what does the direction say? It says preheat oven 450, reduce heat to 425, place pizza on center rack and bake for eight to 12 minutes. So that is the oven baking directions for this. The one thing I found with the griddle, when you use a dome lid like this, it creates an oven effect around your food. And you can pretty much use, bake anything on the griddle that you would bake in the oven. So we got the, um, I'm not gonna use this brick of cheese. So we have our crust. I'm going to add my pizza sauce on here. Just spread it out. You can add as much or as little as you want. And if you've had cauliflower crust pizza, let me know what you think about it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? You know, it's like it was a craze for quite a while. And then it's like nobody's really talked too much about it. I haven't really heard too much lately. Maybe I'm living in a bubble and, you know, I don't get out that much. Um, but... I, uh, you know, it's something that has been on my list of things just to try. You know, I like to try different things, even though sometimes it's like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, but let's just give it a shot. And this is one of the things we're, we're giving it a shot. Okay. Just, I have a thin layer, not too thick. I don't have too thick, too thin. When I make pizza, you know, everybody makes her pizza different. In no, nothing's the wrong way, right way. You can, you do it however you like. I like to add after the sauce a thin layer of my mozzarella cheese. You know, and that too, you can use a blend of cheeses or sometimes people like to do a little blend. I like, I like cheese on mine. So I, I kind of have a tendency to add a little bit more cheese than the average person. So we're just gonna spread that around there. Okay, then I, I'm gonna go with the vegetables. Let's just go and spread. I like mushrooms. I'm a mushroom gal, especially the fresh mushrooms. I really like to use them. So I just cooked up a few. I had some fresh mushrooms in the fridge, so I just cooked up a few there. Not a lot. It's 
There's not a lot in there. And then peppers. I'm not a huge pepper person. Um, you know, but it adds color. It adds a little bit of flavor. And for me, it's like, sometimes if I don't like it, I just, I like to put it on there for the flavor of it and my husband will eat it. But I just, I usually half the time end up picking it off. Um, that's just me. That's just, I don't know why I do that. It's, and especially if it's raw, I won't eat it. I won't, like, we'll get a pizza from our local pizza place, and some of the toppings they put on there, it's like they put it through the pizza oven, but it doesn't cook, and it's like the peppers, the green peppers, are pretty much completely raw, and I won't, I'm like, no, these, these are going off there. I'm not, I'm not eating the, the peppers, but I can kind of tolerate them a little bit if they're cooked. I'm a cooked vegetable person, so if there's, if it's, if it's cooked, then I'm more likely to eat it than if it's not. So I'm just adding just a few. I'm not going to overload it with toppings. You know, it's just, um, you know, I'm just going to do a few just to see, see how it, how it works, how it turns out. Just like that. Go and add. Maybe add a few there. There we go, like that. And then I'm going to wash my hands really quick. And I always have a sink of soapy water that I use to rinse my hands off in. That is something that I'm, I hate my hands being all ooky and gooky and, and that. So get some more cheese here. And then we'll just slide it onto the griddle. I'm not going to add a ton of cheese, but we're going to add a little bit. I like, I'm a cheese person. Try to get some to the edge. They didn't do so much to the edge the last time. But, go like that. Get a few more in there. Just like that. I think I'm going to call that good. Just there. So I'm going to put these away. I have the griddle. I'm using the electric 17 inch Blackstone griddle. I have it set, the dial set at 350 degrees. If you're using the outside, I do have the 36 inch Blackstone griddle and the 22 inch Blackstone griddle. And I would probably do medium low, low to medium. When I've done it outside with the stone, I will do, I think medium, but I use the stone and cooking on the stone really makes a difference. I've actually done it, tested several different ways and I've cooked it you know, directly on the thing. I've cooked it on a rack. I've done it um, using the stone and I've been happiest with the stone. So that is one thing that I think, um, if you can use the pizza stone. So I'm just gonna slide this to the edge here. This is what my pre-pizza looks like. So I'm just gonna slide it on here gently, kind of go towards the middle. And you can move it around because it's, it's on the crust, so it's I don't have it quite centered. So I'm going to move it around. And I'm not using any grease. I don't know if that's going to be good or bad. We're going to see. And I'm going to put the dome lid over right away. And that is actually fitting almost perfect. So what time are we at? We're at 14 minutes. So I'm just going to kind of let it see how, how it works and we will see what it does. Um, one thing I wanna show you, I'm gonna throw this away, get this out of here, um, is I do have, if you have my cookbook, Recipes for the Blackstone Griddle, I do have this on my website, or I have this on mygriddlesecrets.com, but on page 39, I have the Blackstone griddle pizza and this is making a homemade crust with it and um so it's a little bit different but it's kind of the same you know it's the same concept and stuff and so if you have my cookbook you might want to take a look at it and 
um, get some ideas from it. And I also have, I think I have mini pizzas like for the appetizer section, but that's using the pre-done, let's see what that is. Um, mini pizzas, 42. So that's on the 42. That's what the mini pizzas are that I've done, but I used, I think, a biscuits. This very simple um, Pillsbury mini pizza crust is what I used for that. And just pizza sauce, shredded cheese, and toppings. You know, pretty much what I did here. Um, just to just to give you a little bit of an idea. Um, I do have somebody on. Hello, how are you? How are you guys doing tonight? Um, it is warming up here in Michigan. It's it's been actually kind of nice. We've had, uh, you know, it's snowing a little bit, but then it's it's getting warmer, and they're predicting warmer in the 40s. I think like the high 30s, 40s, which is, and it's like twice the the temperature of what it's been. So for us, that's really nice. And um, let's see what else. Um, what do I have going on? If you, this is day 20. Day 20. I can't believe I made it 20 days in the Healthy Griddle Cooking Series. So I started January 5th and every day I've been on the YouTube live and in the Facebook groups and bringing you a healthy griddle cookie or recipes and I really didn't think I was going to last this long. Honestly, I didn't I I didn't think I was when I first started I'm like two weeks is stretching it, you know, and I'm at almost at actually tomorrow will be 3 weeks that I've been doing this. And um, I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself for healthy cooking. But as soon as January is over with, um, we're going back. I am not a healthy griddle cook. I, um, you know, I'm, I just like to do my thing. I don't, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just like to cook. I just like to make recipes and just uh, whatever people like to eat. And that's what I like to make. So um what are we at so we started at was it 14 minutes we're three maybe just give it just a little bit longer i'm going to get a spatula just so i can test test the bottom so one thing is we have to uh, my drawer is giving me problems today. So we have to be careful not to burn this, which I'm hoping it's not. Remember when we're using the dome lid, you're not gonna flip it up and let the heat escape. You're going to leave it there and let the heat stay in it like an oven. When you open the oven door, you wanna try to keep as much heat in. I do have my stone, so I'm just gonna set it on the stone and I'm just gonna peek at it and just look. Looks like we got golden brown, little color, little cheese melting. It's getting a little bit golden brown, but it's not, not too terribly done. So I'm going to keep it going like that. Just uh, put it on there. Just let it go just a little bit longer. Let's see how it does. But one thing that I have found with the, when you're cooking pizzas on the griddle, and I would say you could probably even do like a frozen pizza. I've never tried it, but I've wanted to try it. And maybe someday I will. Maybe once we get done with the January um, healthy griddle cooking series, I'll try a frozen pizza on here. But um, the, the tops, like I, when I get pizza, I like, crispy golden brown cheese i like to have i don't like just my cheese just melted um i like i like that flavor when you when you have like the brown flavor it adds another depth to it and i like that sometimes my family is like eh. so a lot of times when i'm cooking pizza like say the oven if i if the bottom is done everything looks done but the top isn't crispy i will actually turn on the broiler 
and broil the top of it just so I can get that golden brown bits on there in but that's just me some people don't it doesn't matter and as you notice the 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 pitcher in here there isn't any it's the cheese is melted really good and it's cooked you could see the golden brown crust but for me I'm I'm not very partial to that it tasted good it wasn't bad but I like that golden brown and I found something that I can do to add that brown to it. So we're gonna see how this goes and um, I'm gonna show you my trick for that. So it's, it, and I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I don't know why I didn't think of it when I was doing this, but it is something that I've done afterwards and it's like, oh, this is so genius. It's like, why didn't I think of this before? Um, so I'm just gonna check it. What are we, 20? We're almost at 21, so would we start at, we start at 13 or 14? So I'm going to check. It's melted. Keep the heat in there. It's golden brown. It's not burnt. It's not like really like overdone or anything. I'm actually, and I, as you notice, I keep on turning it because you never know if there's hot spots on the griddle and you know, it's not bad, but I think I'm going to let it go just a little bit longer. I'm, I'm one that I like it just, you know, I don't like it burnt and I don't like it like raw, like, you know, I like, but I like a nice golden, like a deep golden brown color on the crust. And we're close, but we're not quite there. But my hack, let me tell you about my hack. I don't know if you have one of these, but my daughter, my youngest daughter is a huge creme brulee fan. So I have this for creme brulee for her. So when she, why I do creme brulee all the time and then she just takes and she just individually does which whatever one she's doing. And I'm like, this would be genius to brown the top of your pizza. Like when it comes off, I'm like, so I have done this. I have experimented with it and it's turned out pretty good. So I'm going to do that tonight because I know it's not, it's not going to get golden brown with the way we cook it and, and that. So that's, and this you can get easily at your grocery store. This is the refill. I have the refill that goes with it. And I actually got this like in the sporting section because we have a big grocery store that has groceries and all kinds of stuff. And um, this was in the sporting section. So, okay, I think I'm probably going to take it off. What are we at? 23 minutes. So probably about 10 minutes maybe it's been on. Mmm. And you know what? I think I'm just going to put it on this stone. Yeah, it's nice and crispy. I'm going to shut the griddle off. So you hear the sound so the display went off it's telling me that the surface is hot but it is uh, off and I'm just gonna go like this and just kind of slide it because it didn't stick that was one thing it did not stick to the griddle at all which was really good so I'm just gonna slide it on the stone here like that Ooh, it smells good. It's got good, uh, good smell there. So let's see. And I'm just going to take this to just go to open, click it, and it's got the flame. And I'm just going to brown it. Just brown the top. In this step, you don't have to do if you don't want to do this. Me, I like, I like that brown crispiness and sometimes you have to work at it a little bit and some people you know you may be afraid to use this that's okay you know don't don't do it if you're but when you hold it on there it just like crisps that up it just oh it's so good especially when you do it like on the pepperoni and the pepperoni warms up and in now that so this is my hack when you're making pizza on the griddle. 
is use this mini torch and get the brownness. Now, if I were doing the pizza oven, that's why I love, love, love the Blackstone pizza oven. It gets your pizzas nice and golden brown. I love the pizza oven. I have nothing good, to, nothing bad to say about it. And we used it, we've used it all the time. I've actually done quite a few recipes on my blog with it. And I don't know if you can see, let me, it's better to get, Ugh. so we're gonna go, I'm just gonna keep on going. And you can see it, see it working on there. And you just have to focus in on just a spot that you want to get the, the crispiness and just do that spot. It's not gonna do like the whole thing like you would underneath a broiler. It's just gonna focus on just a certain spot that you're doing, that your flame is. Mm-mm-mm. I might be running out of gas. I'm not sure how much gas I have in here. Man, oh man. That looks really, really good. Mm-mm-mm. So I'm not gonna do too much, just uh, just enough to show you the how to get it crispy if you if you want it like that. But look how good that pizza looks. Looks really really good. Now, should we see how it tastes? Yeah, I'm not sure. Let me get. You have my pizza cutter here so I'm just gonna cut this and actually I want to take a quick picture first so just I'm gonna grab my other camera and I'm just gonna do a quick picture just so that I can have it for my pictures if I need something. And I'm going to take, I'm gonna cut this. And this is pretty much just like a thin, thin and crispy pizza. So if you're wondering about the crust, it's not thick. It's more of a thin and crispy kind. My husband loves a thin and crispy pizza. He doesn't, he doesn't like a lot of dough for his pizza. And so this pizza is something that he might like. like that and then I am going to just cut I don't want that that's got the I am going to take out just a little piece just for myself so I can try it like that this cheese is all melting I got like a string of cheese in here I'm just gonna kind of Go like that because I want to take another quick picture but I want to try this just to see see how it is let me know what you guys think of a uh, cauliflower crust pizza mm. it's hot it's crispy so if you can see the bottom it's not burnt but so we had it about 10 minutes on 350 on this one and directly on there and i would say it did pretty good um i don't think 
it's too bad. Um, it's not, I don't hate it. It's, um, maybe not my favorite because I'm not a thin and crispy pizza lover. My husband likes a thin and crispy, but I'm more of a bread. I like the bread more. So this might be better if you like a thin and crispy. This might be something that you might really like. Um, and as far as the flavor, I'm not getting like, like a funky flavor or like a strong cauliflower. I do like cauliflower. I like raw cauliflower. I'll eat it and I'll eat um, cooked cauliflower. Honestly, I don't taste any cauliflower in this. I don't, I'm not getting like any hint of cauliflower. Um, I don't think it's that bad. I think I would eat it again. I think I would make it again. I would actually really like to try this in the Blackstone pizza oven. It would be a nice recipe to try. So I'm going to sit here and burp it up. So I'm sorry if you can hear me. I'm going to stop eating. But if you guys, I did get a heart. Thank you, whoever gave me a heart. I appreciate that. Um, I've had Dan pipe in a few times recently. I have looked. And I appreciate Dan. Dan's been giving me support. And he's been watching a lot of my videos. And he's been commenting. That's what I really want from you guys. It's like, do you like something? Do you not? Do you have suggestions? Like this, I've never made this before. So I don't know if there's a better way to do it. Do you do it different and have it turn out a lot better? Let me know. I get, I get so much feedback from, not a lot, I should say, but I do get some feedback from my viewers and I like to hear what everybody else is doing. I like to hear the different stuff that they're doing. And it's just like sometimes a bell goes off in my head and it's like, oh, why didn't I think of that? It's like, that's so, makes so much sense when, when somebody writes it and puts it in a comments. And it's like, why didn't I think of that? I, I don't know why I didn't think of it, but it's a great, great suggestion. And um, so I hope you guys like this cauliflower crust pizza. And um, if you, I will post in the recipe for this and then just substitute the cauliflower crust part of it. But um, I hope you guys have a great evening. Give this a try. Post pictures and let me know what you think about it. And, um, you know, I hope you guys have a great evening. I'm going to keep on continuing with these. Subscribe to my page. If you are not uh, one of my YouTube subscribers, please, please, please go and subscribe to my YouTube if you're watching this on Facebook. I really need to get um, my subscribers. I'm close, close to being at the level to where I can start making money with YouTube. And I really need your guys' support. So if you're not on my YouTube channel, please go and subscribe to it. And watch some of my videos. I have all kinds of Blackstone griddle videos. I'm getting a lot of videos up on there. So please just watch, go watch a few different things. But then I also have smoker recipes. I don't know if you guys like smoker, if you have a smoker. I have a few smoker recipes. My top is buttercream frosting, which I'm in my area. I'm known for being one of the cake ladies in here. So I do have my buttercream frosting in there that gets quite a few views. And I also have my baked walleye recipe, which is my husband's. He makes or he gets the catches the fresh walleye from from Michigan here and we've cooked that up several times. So I just posted the recipe and it actually gets quite a few people looking at that one. It's a very good recipe. So, you know, you guys just go take a look, poke around at my channel, see what you can find. And we will see you tomorrow. I will be back with another recipe. Not sure what I'm gonna do, but we will see you tomorrow. Bye.